What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Uh, been a little while since I've made a video, so <clears throat> been really busy. Uh, anyway, so <clears throat> just wanted to stop on by and do a quick video regarding a trip myself and a couple other wonderful people took at the end of September. <clears throat> uh, we all went and visited a local animal sanctuary in Avondale, Pennsylvania called Chinoa Manor. <clears throat> Chinoa Manor is home to uh, around 220 rescued <clears throat> animals. <clears throat> animals rescued from slaughter, from research labs, and from just around, all around awful abusive situations. Um, they have cows, they have donkeys, they have goats, they have llamas, they have ducks, they have geese, they have <clears throat> uh, pigs, they have parrots, they have tortoises, uh, they have horses, they have ponies, <clears throat> they have a lot of animals. Um, <clears throat> It's a really great little place. Uh, it's, like I said, it's right over the border in Avondale, Pennsylvania. You can go to the website, which I'll link in the description. Um, they do tours through what they consider the growing season. So spring till around November. November is their last tour for uh, the season. Um, <clears throat> tours are $25 for adults, $10 for kids. And you, uh, it's about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on you know the conversations that you have. Um, and it's really nice you when they take you through the tour of the of the sanctuary they uh, they take you right out to the pastures with these animals and it's amazing that uh, considering the fact that most of these animals have known nothing but abuse and suffering at the hands of humans until they got to Chinoa they are so friendly I mean the the two cows that they have um, <clears throat> were were in fact, veal calves and they are now full grown and they're extremely friendly they just want to come up and be be rubbed and and loved on and they just want to be around people and <clears throat> the ponies i mean they came right up to us the donkeys they came right up to us the goats were roughhousing in between us uh same thing with the horses three of their horses are uh, animal or horses that have been rescued from the uh horse racing industry three of them Three of these horses were testing experiments uh, for the horse racing industry. They would test all their drugs on these horses, and uh, after ten years of abuse uh, in that nature, they were, were they were uh, re taken to or rescued by Chinoa. Uh, and, and even these animals were extremely friendly. Uh, they came right up to us. They, you know, it was just like you know they were just totally forgiving and just wanted to be around people and just showed you their personalities <clears throat> you know everybody thinks that these farmed animals not so much horses but cows and pigs and maybe even goats and chickens that they're just <clears throat> inanimate objects here for human usage but all these animals have personalities they all have their own uh, unique emotions and, and <clears throat> uh, they're all unique beings um, you know it was it was just really really amazing getting to interact with them um they have a they had a big uh pen of uh what people would call broiler chickens you know the chickens that are bred to grow so fast in such a short amount of time that they usually die from uh, <clears throat> organ failure or their legs break or things along those lines and the tour guy was telling us that you know even on the best of diets because of the genetic modifications for these poor chickens that they usually only last two, three years, uh, whereas a normal weight healthy chicken can last uh, longer than that. Um, <clears throat> they have rabbits that had been, you know, tested on in the cosmetic industry and um, <clears throat> doves and pigeons that are bred in captivity for the sole purpose of being released on a wedding day or something along those lines. Uh, they have pigs, they have some pot belly pigs that have been rescued from dog fighting rings because dog fighters use baby pigs as bait like they do cats and dogs. Um, they had some pigs, which you would consider slaughter pigs, and, and these pigs were so awesome. I mean, they would just come out and, and just plop down and want you to rub their bellies, and then they fall asleep while you're rubbing their bellies, and just such calm, peaceful animals, and, and the way that we treat them is just absolutely barbaric. Um, <clears throat> while we were in the pig pasture, there's two goats in that pasture, and they just walked along with us like they were part of the crowd. I mean, they didn't leave our sides the whole time. <clears throat> 
Uh, one of the guys on the tour was picking leaves off the tree and feeding it to the goats. And I mean, they, were the, they just didn't want to leave us. It was it was amazing. And then there's some tortoises and uh, just a, it was just a really neat experience to actually go out there and uh, experience the personality of these animals and get to see happy animals living out happy lives as they should be allowed to do. Um, you know, these animals have never hurt anybody and you know there's no reason for them to be condemned to death uh, as in the billions like they are they should be allowed to live lives like the animals at Chenoa and all the other animal sanctuaries and farm sanctuaries across the country and the world <clears throat> one other very cool thing about Chenoa is not only do they rescue animals but they also work a lot with troubled youths and troubled kids and they have kids come to the sanctuary and they help take care of the animals and they learn and they they, they reconnect with, uh, as they say at Chenoa, reconnect with nature. Um, <clears throat> so it's a really neat place. They help troubled youth. They rescue animals. Um, it's a great place to go and just have a little tour. They also have volunteer days where you can go spend longer time at the sanctuary, but you actually got to work. Uh, they do a mud run. Um, they have, they're having, they either just had or they have a benefit uh, dinner coming up. Uh, they have movie nights at the manor. Um, they just have a bunch of things. You can see all this stuff on their website. And if you're in Delaware, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Jersey, it's not a far drive to Avondale, Pennsylvania. I highly recommend going to Chenoa Manor. It's a very neat place. Uh, it's very peaceful. <clears throat> it's, it's great to interact with the animals. It's uh, great to learn about the history of Chenoa and just hear some of the amazing stories about the animals that live there. And uh, I highly suggest, you know, you, you look into them, support them, uh, participate in some of their activities if you're in the area, volunteer, um, <clears throat> go on tours, uh, you know, do whatever you can to support these sanctuaries, uh, especially, you know, the smaller ones like Chinoa, because, um, you know, they, they rely on totally on donations uh, to continue doing what they're doing. So every little bit helps. And with that said, I got some pictures and a couple videos I took, so enjoy those. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, um, but definitely check out Chinoa. It's a very cool place, very peaceful place, great place to go, interact with the animals. Um, if you're vegan, it really reaffirms the whole point of being vegan. If you're not vegan, maybe it'll give you that nudge to become vegan uh, or even vegetarian, but if you're vegetarian, maybe seeing the two calves that were intended to be slaughtered for veal because of the dairy industry, maybe it'll push you to be vegan. But anyway, go check it out. Cool place. Um, can't say enough nice things about the folks that were there. Check it out. Chinoa Manor, Avondale, Pennsylvania. <laughs>